What's up guys? It's been a while since I brought you guys some anime reviews. Does it mean I am stopping the reviews? That's not what it means. Um, I've just been working a lot. I got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. Um, I did give you guys a little treat though. Uh, yesterday I posted up a video of, of uh, this new thing I subscribed to. It's called Loot Anime. Um, it's basically you pay 30 bucks a month for a box that brings $80 worth of shit. And it's all random anime stuff. It's amazing. I got a shirt from Kill the Kill, and um, and awesome posters. I mean, check out. I'll put the link in the description below. It's really cool. Other than that, episode five of Divine Gate. Um, nothing really new. Um, it's it, this anime is going very slow. Um, we did have some character development for Akane, and that's cool that we get to see him changing um I'm now thinking about others and and um being concerned a little bit more and now he's asking himself questions um he got to experience a massacre now he the whole team asked him asked themselves if it's that the right thing to do um i think that's something they're gonna um experience a little bit more it'll be nice to see how they handle the situations they handled this situation, they tried to talk their way, um, they tried to reason their way with the enemy in order to come to common grounds to avoid the bloodshed. That didn't work out. And it ended up with the counselor intervening and killing everybody. Which is what led to Akane having this nice moment where he's crying and he sees things he didn't see before and thinks the way he didn't. He's starting to think a way he didn't think before. Um, we get introduced to a new team. Now this new team, I think they're gonna have a lot to do with each other. Uh, uh, Auto's team and I think this guy's name is Ganzi or some shit like that. Well, they're gonna have a lot to do with each other because in the opening, we see that these two teams are introduced in the opening. So, we don't know how they're gonna form that team. We don't know what their end goal, what their end game is. We don't know if they wanna fight the council, if they're gonna... We don't know none of that. So, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. And um, and it was a fun episode. It was really good. I, I'm I'm enjoying the fact that in this episode they didn't go all CG mode in the fucking fight scenes. Uh, as you guys know, I don't I'm not a big fan of that. Like if you're gonna have an anime that's basically super 3D and CG shit, then just keep it like that. Don't give us anime that looks like any other anime. You know, nice, normal, nice animations, etc. And then when it comes to the fight scene, you're gonna just throw in. This crazy CG shit. It's like, what the fuck? It throws it throws the feeling off, you know, to me. <coughs> so that's all that really happened this episode. Um, some nice little character development for Akane. We get to see how corrupt the world they live in is. Um, there are people that are um, thrown away as trash. People that are seeking power for reasons, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, I hope to see. Out, a little bit more of auto changing I think uh, by episode 6 7 we should start seeing auto coming to a conclusion with himself not a conclusion but like a midway path I feel like we're still in the episode 1 with auto like like he hasn't seen his brother um, he's on some shit emo shit and it's just like he's so uh, he's so Sasuke but, you know but um, Midori I hope to, ha to get some nice stories with Midori um, she's just basically a supporting character at this moment and she looks like she could be a great great character with her own great stories so hopefully you know it's just episode 5 so we'll see um, you guys like and subscribe um, and uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'll have more anime reviews coming soon okay I'm sorry for the lack of content guys but you guys take it easy